morning, morning. This morning I've been working on this drip irrigation. I found a shop that sells the little bits and pieces I need. So that's like a giant score. Makes things much easier. So I was able to get a lot of like uh, caps and things like that. Now I've got some water trickling through. I'm gonna see where it's working and where we've got leaks. So that takes place over the morning. I think I'm on the right track. You can see, you can see the little wet spots good wet spot there's a couple that are coming out too much that I've changed the tape there's a couple little leaks that I got to fix but apart from that it's going pretty well so I just leave these running for a couple of hours a day and it gets a little trickle and it saves me a lot of time here you see those coming out here Fix. On November 1st we had frost and two weeks later it was in the 30s. So we've skipped spring this year. So all of these, not all, most of these leafy greens aren't doing very well at all because it's gone too hot. These were my spring greens. So they've all got to go. It's, even if I water them they don't make it because it's in the high 30s, which is high 90s during the daytime. So I'm going to take out everything except for the beets, the uh, acelga, the uh, chard, and the bok choy, which is not looking great, but and maybe this mizuna. Everything else has got to go. It's turnips and some. Uh, spinach and it's a shame but that's what the season has done to me and I'm going to replace it with tomatoes some late planting tomatoes and some tomatillos and some chilies and see if those things go so here's the digging it all up <laughs> 